Hello everyone. This is Money Collector. Today we are reviewing a coin collection. This is a US territorial coinage for the Philippines Islands. Uh, for those who have no idea, Philippines has a lot of uh, islands and small islands. It has a 7,710 or 7,000 plus islands but um, those lots of islands or islets are uh, very small and there is, there is no inhabitants so here we are before we continue please subscribe to this channel and help this channel grow uh, as you can see we have a lot of coins here a old coins for those who are asking why I have, uh, I am using a gloves or glove because uh, sometimes if we use our bare hands to touch, to touch these uh, coins, uh, some of these are bronze or copper or a nickel, we will destroy the coin or the patina of the coins because our hands has a the acid content we have a lot of coin extra here but first we are going to see this is the evolution of uh, coins in the Philippines this is the first uh, coins issued in the Philippines by the United States this is a one peso 1908 Filipinas or Philippine Islands uh, as you can see here there is a volcano a lady I think this is a Morgan Morgan lady from the US dollar also if you are aware or well versed on the coin coinage US has a Morgan dollar and there is a face of a woman I think uh, she looks like this and there is an anvil and a hammer I don't know what's the meaning of this but I think it is because of how they forge or how they make these coins using this hammer and uh, anvil and on its back there is a, a US seal and it says United States of America 1908 1 peso Filipinas and next these are the copper or bronze no this is a brass brass coins of the United States in the Philippine Islands uh, this is a one centavo or one cent Filipinas and it has a US seal on its back. This is a 1944 one centavo brass coins. And next, we have the five centavo. This is a 1945. All of these are the 1945 uh, five centavo. And uh, I have a lot of spare also of this like this but uh, I haven't cleaned because I am not planning to clean this so that I will not destroy the the coin and I will try to put it on a coin uh, holder and uh, coin pouch to avoid the destruction of the coin and next we have a lady also a lady coin this is a 10 centavos but it is a 1960 10 centavos and on its back on the reverse we have here the central bank of the philippines and the, the seal of the philippines here on its back it has a three stars it has a three stars here and a sun, an eagle, and a lion. A crest, they said. They call it a crest. 
and on the obverse or the front it has the same uh, design a lady standing uh, holding an anvil uh, holding a hammer on an anvil behind the background is a volcano uh, for those who don't know what volcano is this this is a mayon volcano or mayon volcano as americans called it i have a lot of this as you can see here I have a lot of this and I'm planning to give this away after I reach the my target uh, uh, subscribers but as of now I'm just keeping it for the said purpose next we have also the 1 centavo 1960 but this is a also a, a brass a man sitting on an anvil here and he is holding his uh, hammer this man is holding a hammer here and this is the anvil and his hand is uh, on the anvil and on the background there is a volcano down here and this is a 1 centavo 1960 this is a brass uh, coin and next we also have here a, a brass nickel coin the bigger one his uh, younger brother this is a, a 5 centavo also a 5 centavo 1964 uh, as you can see this is a still in a good condition but the the discoloration or the added uh, moisture or dirt and this is still in uh, good shape this is at 5 centavos 1964 Philippine issue of the US government and next we have here a, a 25 centavos the 1966 and 1964 we have here the 66 also and another 66 I have only one 64 but I have a 4 pieces of uh, 1966 this one is still in good condition but a lot of struck uh, was made here this is a 25 centavos 1966 philippine us coins this is a common coin uh, but out of circulation already and it was demonetized and last this row we have here the 50 centavos this is a bigger one a heavy coin and it sounds like a silver as you can see as you hear that sounds like a silver but this is a nickel it was made of nickel this is a 1958 50 centavos and on the, as you can see we can read it this right here this is central bank of the philippines and uh, the crest here mm, the republic of the philippines we have here the golden eagle of the united states the lion and we have here the eight rays as uh, inside outside the sun here and this is the three main island of the philippines this is the three stars and the sun they called it the three stars and the sun this is the Luzon, the visayas and the mindanao uh, this is the main three islands of the philippines that is why they called it the uh, three stars and the sun the eight rays on the sun represents the eight uh, eight places who revolt against the the Spaniards and also during the American time American uh, Filipino American war 
this is a still in a good shape coin but this is a common coin if you want to touch or if you are touching this you can see this still in a good condition uh, okay as you can see the the patina is uh, sticking on my gloves that is why I'm using gloves but it is better to use gloves than to destroy th these uh, coins as you can see I have here a lot of spare centavos here this will go away I will give this away to my subscribers when I reach the 2000 subscribers okay to those who are lucky just wait and uh, I will randomly pick my winners but I think I will give this to my subscribers or for those who comment in my videos only because if you don't know I will give the criteria or how to join how to win uh, this uh, giveaway coins or collectibles okay that's it this is a money collection a US territorial coinage for the Philippines Islands this is money collector thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe and uh, comment on uh, this video Share it to your social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Thank you for watching. See you on our next video.